Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a welcome screen that is only displayed once. So once you launch the app, you can see the welcome screen. But if you relaunch the app again, you will not see the welcome screen anymore. So let's go ahead and start creating our welcome screen. Now, in order to create the welcome screen, I'm going to go ahead and create a separate welcome view. So welcome screen, which will be a view. And you can obviously create this in a completely separate file, but uh, I'm just going to use the same exact content view file to create this. There we go. So we have the welcome screen. It should return you something. So let me go ahead and try to return something from here. I'm going to add nothing more, just a vStack. It will always be a good idea to also see that how this actually looks like. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say that, okay, go ahead and display the welcome screen. There we go. So we can actually see what it looks like. Let's refresh our view. Okay. So it kind of looks like that right now. Um, what we can do is we can make sure that it has some sort of a color so that we can see the rest of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the frame for this. Maximum width. I'm going to go ahead and say infinity and maximum height, infinity. There we go. And let's go ahead and set some sort of a background color. So I'm going to say color. Actually, blue pretty looks pretty good. So I'm going to say, let's say color.blue. Pretty good. Okay. And that's uh, pretty much it, right? Okay. So right now, you can see the welcome screen. Great. Now, if I run the app, you will be able to see whatever you see, the welcome screen. But if I run the app again, I don't want to see this again. I want to see the home screen. Now, what the, does the home screen looks like? That's completely up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and copy a home screen somewhere. There we go. It simply says home screen and nothing more. So now, the first time you launch the app, the first time, I want to see the welcome screen. But every other time that I'm going to launch the app, I want to see the home screen. So how do we do this? Now there are multiple ways of doing this. Now your first thinking might be that, okay, let me go ahead and use the app storage. So if I say welcome screen shown, which is a Boolean and initial value is false. And I'm going to also go ahead and put app storage on it. And I will call it welcome screen show. Now, if you don't know what app storage is, the app storage is going to create a key called welcome screen shown. And it is going to add the value into user defaults. Now, another thing that it's going to do is that every time this particular value changes, it is going to re-render the view. All right. So keep that in mind. So this will be our first approach. Let's see how this works out. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to say, if welcome screen is already shown, then go ahead and display the home screen. Else, go ahead and display the welcome screen. Simple logic. Now, inside the welcome screen, we will go ahead and make sure that we are changing the welcome screen shown. So I'm going to copy this and put it right here also. Now, keep in mind that this is going to write to the user defaults. And the top part is also going to do the same. They are going to change the same keys or trying to access the same exact keys. Now inside over here, I can say on appear. So once this particular welcome screen is shown, 
go ahead and say welcome screen shown equals to true. Okay. Let's go ahead and run this. And we're going to try to run this in an actual simulator. And if we run this, we see the home screen. We don't see the welcome screen. Now, it might be that it already had the value in the user default. So let's go ahead and actually delete this so that we're starting fresh. We don't have any user defaults and anything. Let's go ahead and run it again. This time we should see the welcome screen, but we don't. We see the home screen. So what exactly is going on? Well, let's go ahead and put some breakpoints over here to see what is going on. And this is going to give you a little bit more information. All right, so let's go ahead and first of all, delete the app so we don't have anything in the user defaults. And now we can run the app. And now we have also the breakpoints in place. So we'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, so the breakpoint is hitting in the welcome screen. Now, if I go ahead and print this out, if I print welcome screen over here, it is actually false, which is great. It is false. Okay. So if it is false, then it should go and show us the welcome screen. And it does go over there and it shows the welcome screen. So it at least it goes over there. Then the on appear fires and it changes it to true. Now keep in mind that whenever the welcome screen shown is changed from true to false or false to true, since it is marked with app storage, it is going to re render the view which means that it is going to go again over here. And this time, if you check the values, it is true displaying the home screen. So that was the case that we were having, that every time we change the value from false to true, then it re-renders all of this, and then it shows the home screen. Doesn't even show us the welcome screen. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we can solve this problem by just not using app storage. I mean, maybe there's a way that you can use app storage, but the easy solution would be to, okay, don't use app storage because every time you set the value in app storage, it is going to re-render the view, which we don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an extension on user defaults. And one of the extension I'm gonna create, one of the properties I'm gonna add will be welcome screen shown and it will simply be a boolean property and we're going to return over here the value from user defaults dot standard dot value for a particular key which will be welcome screen shown and this value will be in any object so what we want to do is we want to cast it to a boolean but if that casting actually fails, then we will simply return false. And the setter, when we are setting a new value, will be user defaults dot standard dot set value. So we'll say set value. The new value, whatever you are setting it, it will be either true or false because this property is boolean. And we're going to use welcome screen shown. I mean, as a string. Sorry. So let's go ahead and wrap it as a string. That's the key. Very important. And now we can go back to our code and remove the app storage part. And we can use our user defaults. So this is simple user defaults. So whenever this property is going to change, it is not really going to re-render the view. Whenever we are assigning the property, we can also use the user defaults extension that we just built. There we go. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. There we go. And let's go ahead and build it. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to run our application, but first we're going to delete this. So remove the app, delete the app, so that all the user defaults are cleared out. And I'm going to run the app for the first time. So we should see the welcome screen. And we do see the welcome screen. Okay, so that's always good. Now let's go ahead and stop the app and running the app for the second time, we should see the home screen. Perfect. So now you can see that it is working as expected. We did have to use user defaults, standard user defaults, and not the app storage because app storage was firing 
the re-render again, which was causing some issues. So there you have it. Welcome screen shown once to the user. And after that, it is the home screen. Okay, if you want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I have a very, very comprehensive course on CIF UI. It is called CIF UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. You can see more than 5,500 students have been enrolled with more than 1,000 ratings. Now, this is a 21 hour course which covers building everything related to CIF UI. So, go through this course. This is an amazing course. If you're looking for more courses, then check out the YouTube description and I have links to all of my other courses also. Thank you so much and I really hope you enjoy this video.